this episode, I'm going to give you what is potentially the answer for why the Hawks rushed to arrest Mary when they had a later on day appointment with her. Why didn't they just wait for her to come to the to the meeting? Uh, uh, and why exactly Bushiri handed himself? Why was he not arrested the same way he had a meeting with the Hawks? So why didn't the Hawks wait for 11 o'clock for, the, for Bushiri and his wife to appear before the Hawks? And they just went to the house to arrest Mary. What was going on? What happened? What was it that the, the Hawks uh, had found that made them actually do this? This person fit the, <laughs> he fits that entire story like this. And he said, it's because there was a particular pastor that was driving Bushiri already out. There was a person who was driving Bushiri out. And so this process that, that Solomon was explaining might have actually even started earlier that Mary was. Uh, two, uh, two different particular stories came to me and I thought they fit right into this entire subject. So I wanted to give you the update on it and let's talk about it and hear what it goes down as. This fits exactly with Solomon's stream of how Bushiri was smuggled. If you watch that video, this is like a glove. And so I'm going to give the full detail. So watch through the video and I will see you on the rest of this video. Let's go. I didn't want, I was not going to make a video about it, but I've had two people, two different people, two different sources call me about this particular thing. And after hearing Solomon Ashom's at Solomon's temple yesterday, talking about how Bushiri was smuggled, and I thought, wow, what Solomon is saying fits like this with what these two individuals are saying. And I'm going to explain it here. Uh, in this video. If you don't know our channel, we are Daily Christian Commentary Video Channel. The other Bushiri video that is down in the description will contain the giveaway for this Pilgrim Bible. It's a 700 Rand Bible. I was supposed to do this giveaway yesterday, but yesterday, ah, I forgot <laughs> to shoot the part of the instruction. So I shot the instruction video today and I inserted it into that. So go check the instruction on how to win that Bible. And so on this video, I'm going to extend from what Solomon said. And I want you to understand, this is an extension. This is an extension of what Solomon said in that video. So Solomon first did uh, Bushiri run away, right? And then he did house Bushiri was smuggled out. Uh, that was a very weird turn, how Bushiri was smuggled. And he explained uh, what is known as um, car smuggling, luxury car smuggling, which is a very huge business. Now, you know, we've read articles about it. I never really thought about it until Solomon started speaking of it. And in the way he details it, I could fit it within the two sources that have called me. The first person called me uh, the day after it was confirmed. The moment they confirmed that Bushiri was not, we didn't go with the president, the, this person called me and he said, Ricky, uh, this is how I, uh, I have the information. It is reliable. This is how Bushiri went out. He explained it exactly the way Solomon brings it, breaks it down. But he doesn't have the syndicate idea. He doesn't have the smugglers in his story. In his story, he didn't mention. He said there were two cars, okay? So there were two cars. One was sent ahead. And this car, the one which went ahead, had kind of like a heads up in order to prepare the way for him and everything. And then him, he was behind. Solomon then breaks it down by saying, uh, Mary was in a different car and Bushiri was in a different car and so then it explains uh, the smuggling uh, by by way of uh, car but ap apart from it being um, uh, by way of car there was a car ahead that was arranging things ahead. Edition video when I explained that video I got another call from another person that I know and so this person also knows his information there and the information that he mostly gives very very accurate when it comes to Bushiri. So his explanation was um was the title of the video how Bushiri got arrested in the beginning to begin with. What was the reason that incited the, the hawks to go and arrest him? And this has been a mystery because people were saying oh no you know Bushiri uh, had a meeting with the hawks so why didn't the hawks wait for 11 o'clock for the for bushiri and his wife to appear 
before the hawks and they just went to the house to arrest Mary. What was going on? What happened? What was it that the, the hawks uh, had found that made them actually do this? This person fit the, <laughs> he fits that entire story like this. And he said, it's because there was a particular pastor that was driving Bushiri already out. There was a person who was driving Bushiri out. And so this process that, that Solomon was explaining might have actually even started earlier. Okay, might have started earlier. By the day, they were both going supposed to go to, to the Hawks. But the issue was here. Uh, they then got tip. They might have gotten tip that Bushiri was already on the run. He was already going ahead. And so explaining this two, two car separation thing. Now remember, these are just theories. Okay, explaining this two car theory that this person was saying that there was a car ahead to prepare the way for them. By the time they get to this particular crossing spot, it, the, the way was already prepared. They just kind of just passed. Uh, Bushiri only got a call to say, if you even cross, Mary will rot in jail. This is what brought him back. Because uh, it, some of you maybe might have heard the idea that uh, no, he was he, uh, uh, he was arrested. He was in a different place. He was in a different house. Yeah, that's kind of like what I was saying. Also, it was kind of very telling. Like, wait a minute, these two were not together. What's going on? And so, uh, they might have been together, but if they were being transported on that particular day when they were supposed to meet the hawks, because remember, they got a tip the previous day from the hawks to come into the office. It's starting to make even more sense. <laughs> they got a tip the previous day to come to the offices of the Hawks. And Wishiri goes on a live video saying, yeah, there's trouble ahead, eh, something, I sense a war. Uh, speaking it as if it was a prophecy. And I remember Owami saying on, on her stream, why then did he make it sound like a prophecy on the stream while he knew very well they were tipped the previous day and given a notice to come into the office to come to meet the hawks? And so the glove, it just fits. It fits the model. Uh, and so uh, at first I wasn't going to make the video. I was like, oh, okay, okay. It was just interesting information to hear and all that kind of stuff. But today in the morning when I was thinking about it, because yesterday I made the stream about the other one, when I listened to the smuggling one, I was like, hey man, this fits, the story fits what these two people told me. It's just that they don't have the smugglers in their story, okay? They don't have the uh, the why which, uh, uh, the Hawks went to, ad to arrest Mary first, um, and they are not said to have arrested Bushiri. We only hear that um, Bushiri handed himself. It's because Bushiri was already on the first car that was going ahead. Okay, He was already in the first car that was going ahead if they were being split, according to the account that uh, uh, Solomon was actually giving. And so if you have watched that stream that Solomon was doing yesterday, and uh, considering these two particular calls that I got, it fits like a glove that Bushiri had handed himself because Mary was already, uh, her car was too far behind. So they got caught, they caught up with her too quick and then they took her in. And so the, 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 the Hawks might have gotten that information that uh, Bushiri just up, he's out of the province. And so that might have been a tip for them to rush to the house to go and arrest him. And so it's just an interesting theory. Uh, I thought it fit into the entire uh, story. And I thought maybe I'll come out here and tell you guys, I did get these two calls uh, like in different days. And the two people that I'm talking about don't even know each other at all. All I could not connect what the two of them said together because one only told me no, he only went uh, uh, separate uh, from the wife. But when he was going, they used car, and so that's that's the information that the first one gave me. Said no, they you, they used a, a car and what 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 what. And so when the other gentleman said no, Bushir was already going on the day when Bushir, when Mary was thinking which might have been a tip-up for them to rush and arrest Mary. And so that was like, 
Oh, okay. So Bishiri was good. Though, so when I heard the Solomon, you can see how the entire story then just fit into the entire thing. It's Ricky's reality show. Uh, hey, information is information educate you. <laughs> so it's very fascinating that that one is uh, that one impo important aspect of what Solomon said. I felt like it fit. Y'all tell me what you think. It's Ricky. Other videos that are done today, they'll be done in the pin comments, and I'll see you on a later on. Y'all be good. Salute.